So many people have commented as soon as I started this arc that this was one of the arcs that made them fall in love with Black Clover. This is one of the arcs where shit gets so real. I just want to say, first off, I am very much enjoying this arc and I'm loving the show. But the title of this episode, I think, describes it almost perfectly. Despair versus Hope. Veto versus Asta. The Black Bulls, the people, the... the oh, it's just, it's just so... I love it, you know? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 48, called Despair vs. Hope. We only have this, 49, uh, 50, 51, and at 51 is the last of this opening, so we're getting close. I'm guessing this arc is probably reaching its climax relatively soon, and we're gonna be getting a resolution. I'm so excited, and I have no idea what that could be. Like, I really did not foresee Veto coming here at all. So anything that I had predicted slash theorized is now all out the window, and I have no idea what's gonna happen, but boy, am I ready for it. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. If you guys are watching this on YouTube right now, I'm almost positive. I should have started Jujutsu Kaisen by now on Patreon. Make sure to look around for any announcements on that. Super excited. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys oh so very much. Let's hop right on into this. Black Clover, episode 48, Despair versus Hope. Nice. I love how mobile he is. I know I said this last episode with Finral and Vanessa on his side. Surprising. The Black Bulls are very strong. They're just very unique in their personalities and somewhat lazy, but very strong. Ooh, he severed the magic current that enables self healing, so no more healing. So he's t taking this somewhat seriously, knowing that Asus is only real counter right here. Instead of calling them insects, oh, he is roasting them. I thought he was finally going to acknowledge them somewhat. <laughs> Have hope just because you've banded together. Despair versus hope. Ooh. We're getting some hits off on the boy. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, he's like jetting between the spatial portals. That's so cool. Yeah, Ghosh is uh, finally feeling it. He's with Gray and Charmy. So eating helps her with her magic regeneration. I mean, I can see that, but she just loves eating. Imagine all the rest of the Black Bulls dies and she's just munching. I bet you she'd be so upset. Oh, good support. It's crazy. We're getting close, man. We gotta... Yeah, he really beat the shit out of them. Hell yeah. What is he reading them, studying them, getting used to their speed? I'm so curious. Yep, as what I feared earlier, he's starting to get used to their speed, their movements. Ooh, nice. Only because Vanessa was able to realize that, she was able to switch it up at the end there. Very nice. Still got him, though. Yami with the captain advice. Yeah, this is super dangerous. 
The Black Swordsman, that's such a cool name. I was so happy when Noel's attack. I thought he killed him. He's not wrong. A bazillion times. True. Let's change up the plan. Okay. Surpass our limits? Oh, even more. We already surpassed him earlier. Okay. He definitely is getting quicker. Ooh, okay, that animation is popping. Whoa. The forest of witches? A Vanessa backstory? Does she have to make her own like imaginary friends out of thread? The queen of witches. Reminds me of Remy and Ratatouille. Man, this is... I was not expecting this from Vanessa at all. Oh, I do wonder how she escapes. I'm glad we have some sort of friends. I understand why she's an alcoholic. If I was trapped in there, I might drink a lot more, you know? Hell no, you weren't. To move the threads of fate? I like that. Just trust me and go. I, I would trust Vanessa if I was Asta with my life. I'm counting on you, ma'am. Are we going to get Finral backstory and Vanessa? Whoa. Of attack. Hmm. Fragile and stunted, huh? So that's the attack style spatial magic. Wow. Langris. Finral's the older brother. I hate when parents say, be like your brother, be like, you know, come on. Your child should be, be themselves. I had no idea. So, I don't know if they said noble or royal, I'm guessing because we know the main royal family is that they're just a noble house, so the house of, oh, I did not know that at all, though. The next, so little brother, which obviously goes against the typical rules say, stating that the oldest firstborn son would be the rightful heir, successor, but no, they made Langris the next head of the house of, I don't know how to pronounce it, Vaud? Vaude? He just wants to be a good, decent dude. The elitism is so crazy. Much like yourself. You had nothing, yes. Even worse than you. Kept fighting. I love how much Asta inspires so many people in the squad. I love that transition. He's gonna feel the support 
roll to the best of his abilities, you know? He's not going to be the strongest, but he's going to make his boys the strongest. Hell yeah, Finroll. <laughs> Hell yeah, exactly what Vanessa said. Just trust him. <laughs> That's such an Asta answer. Oh my god. <laughs> they still have some self-doubt about themselves. I must agree. I must agree. Ooh, fucking gauche coming in plug. It's not just them. It's gonna be all the black. Charmy, gray, and gauche. Okay, full. What's this? Reflect, uh, reflect, refrain. What? Forcing you into a certain spot? Cotton creation magic? Ooh, I love. I was wondering how the one hit, two hit, mega hit would work on somebody as strong as Veto. Ah, oh, it didn't even go for him. Damn, it's all a distraction. Oh, Gray. I was like, what the hell is going on? Transformation magic is coming in clutch. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, oh bro. I'm only talking about this because it happened in the Petite Clover. I'm, usually they don't make the YouTube edits, so that's why I'm talking about this. But it was just how Gordon was involved. I want to see Gordon apart helping out. You know, that'd be awesome. I love Gordon oh so much. But I want to see him just absolutely destroy shit and pop off, you know? But um, fantastic episode. I loved seeing, I love the title first off, Despair vs. Hope. That's literally what it boiled down to. Uh, but as long as you don't give up, as long as you have somebody, something to fight for, you will surpass your limits. And then as they said, you'll surpass them even more. So I loved getting some of the background. Obviously, there's a little bit deeper, but I loved getting some of the background of Vanessa and Finral. I did think it was very interesting how, like for the backgrounds we've gotten so far, such as Vanessa, Finral, and Ghosh, they made it very apparent that Yami is sort of like the Meliodas of this. Like, he, yes, he's collecting the societal rejects, but it's, I don't want to say he's doing it for some ultimate plan, like it's Jing from Hunter x Hunter, but I will say he definitely is able to see the potential for a long-term sense in everyone. Like, Finral, he, bro, so what? You can't use your portals to attack people? I could totally see a scenario in which your portals are going to be clutch. Thread magic, clutch. Um, you know, the mirror magic for Ghost, clutch. You know, protect who you want to protect. I'll get that. But the thing I was saying was I think it's so interesting how they made it a point to have Yami be the one who got Finral and Ghost. But we didn't see who actually saved Vanessa from that... Uh, from her little hanging cage um yeah i'm looking at it right now it doesn't actually it doesn't even look like yami because he only has like he's a tank top with a half like cape thing i'm so curious about the forest of witches i'm so curious about the queen of witches i'm so curious about langris and his that his magic was op not op but it super reminded me of Compress from My Hero, which just compresses you, whereas this one seems to do the same thing, like teleports you away. But it's just, I, he and he's the vice captain of the Golden Dawn. He has to be insanely strong. Current house, current head of their family. I want to know who saved Vanessa. I want to know why the Queen of Witches put her in there. I want to know more about the Forest of Witches. She's a witch. That's so interesting. I'm so curious. There's so many questions. I am so happy Asta was able to get that stab in. I was so happy that Gray, Ghosh, and Charmy came to help and that even they were even able to support even more. They weren't like attacking. Um, because at the end of the day, yeah, Veto would be able to literally beat everyone. The only person that has a chance of beating him is Asta. Not even because Asta's OP or anything, it's just because he happens to have anti-magic. So we're all supporting him the best way we can. And it seems 
to be working out. I'm going to cross my fingers. And hopefully I didn't jinx myself. I just knocked on wood. You guys can't see my desk, but hopefully this is going to go off. I'm super, I'm going to watch this next episode right now. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Check out that Patreon. If you guys want four episodes ahead, all that jazz. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys. I will see you in this next episode. Peace out.